most important problem and very tricky problem this is very easy problem but many of the are feel that it is it is very difficult the input format for this problem is the user randomly enters any three integer variables for example the user enters 12878 and the third variable is 9 the output format will be the output format will be 9 12 878 by observing the output we are understanding that the variables or the numbers are in ascending order how to sort the variables without using any loops only using the conditional statements if you want to say a number is small out of the two variables we need to check that number with two other variables if it is small then only we conclude that the number is small out of two variables so if you want to say for example take a equal to 10 b equal to 20 c equal to 90 if you want to say e a is smaller than two other variables we need to check a less than b and a less than c if both the conditions are satisfied then only we we are going to tell a is smaller than two other variables if a less than b and a less than c then only we need we are going to tell a is smaller than two other variables so after finding the smallest value we need to check the another smaller value out of the two variables the two variables are b and c if b less than c then the order will be a is small right if you want ascending order ascending order means small to big so a is small out of the two variables a comma b b is small than c so b comma c if you want to print any message simply print ascending order of the three variables three variables for suppose if in case a is not smaller than b and c so we need to check another condition like b is small or not l if b is less than a and b is less than c if both the conditions are satisfied again we need to check another condition out out of these two variables a and c we need to check which one is smaller if a less than c then we are going to print ascending of ascending of three variables here out of three b is smallest right so first b then a then c this is the order if both the conditions is not satisfied that means a is not smaller and b is not smaller out of three variables then definitely c is smaller else if c is smaller we are concluded that out of three variables c is smaller we need to check out of two variables b and a which one is smaller so just simply check if a less than c sorry a less than b this condition is satisfied we need to print first c why because c is smaller out of 
p variables then a is smaller then b is smaller let's try to copy the code and try to execute in compiler new file just paste it here the numbers by default is in ascending order only just try to save it and run it I saved the program as the largest of three numbers. Let's try to execute it once. Oh, sorry, comma is missing. Why? Because comma is the separator between the number of parameters. The first parameter is ascending of three numbers, and the second parameter is value of A. Third parameter is value of B. Fourth parameter is C. So we need to differentiate the number of parameters by using separator called semi-comma just run it so here we are observing that the ascending of order of three numbers will be 10, 20, 90 every time after running the program the output will be same if you want to change the that means uh, you want the input from the user you want program dynamically so take input from the user a equal to int of input of enter a value slash n is used to go to the next line b equal to just copy the control c paste it here and change change the variable names enter b value enter c value save it Here we are observing that the values is asked. So I am going to give 87 as A value. B value is 2. C value is 90. Here we are observing that the ascending of three, num three variables is 2, 87, 90. I think it's working fine. Okay, let's try to execute one more test case. Enter a value. I am going to give 78. Again, I am going to give 78. Then 2. The output will be 2. Here we are observing that no output is printed. This is why because in the program we are checking that if a is less than b in else condition. But in our scenario, the A value is same as B. So, if this condition is not satisfied, then the output will not be printed. So, just simply use equal to operator. If A less than B or A is equal to B, then also it will print. So, just save it and run. enter a value the same values i am going to give then to the here we are observing that dot will will be displayed on the user screen i hope all of you understanding the program well please do like share and subscribe for more interesting videos thank you all thank you so much for your valuable love and support